dear friends today we are going to discuss uh, a topic that will be very useful for you and me we will take this topic uh, uh, of how can i become a source of inspiration to people how can i be an inspiration to other people most of the teachers must be you know they say every educator must be an inspiration every teacher must be an inspiring teacher so similarly the students have to be learning how to become an inspiring people therefore i will explain to you around 15 to 16 points today for your reflection the first thing is uh, we need to do is uh, you must be a person of authenticity authenticity means you speak you act in the same manner you cannot be speaking your words should be one and your actions should be exactly opposite of that one or without uh, correlated to this that cannot be a sign of an authentic person authentic persons like jesus christ mahatma gandhi albert einstein martin luther king nelson mandela mother teresa these people were so much inspiring they spoke one thing and they acted exactly the same manner so we need to keep that point first the second one is you do what you love you know stick to what you love with for example when you love something that you are doing you will get inspiration you will get a happiness and there will be meaning in life otherwise what happen your life will not be uh, it will be a monotonous life the third point is express your enthusiasm in whatever you do enthusiasm means there is a zeal within you there is a spirit that impels you propels you to act upon act upon so therefore you need to have an enthusiasm enthusiasm also in latin you know it consists of three words for your information enthusiasm means n t o is a is called enthusiasm and in n means with it's a prefix t o means god and ism is a suffix which is many gandhism hinduism communism communalism etc we have heard about ism means only that means enthusiasm means only with god or god with only that's the meaning and that which gives you inspiration is a work of god that spirit works within you that is why you get inspiration that's a zeal there is a there is an activeness in you so every individual must have an active attitude that which propels you to do good things and the fourth point is whatever you do do it your best you know jesuit education gives uh, four c's one of the c's is competence all of us must be competent in whatever we do competence means excellence in life we cannot do half heartedly a thing and become successful not at all whatever we do we do it with 100% and when we do with 100% there is a, a satisfaction within you a job satisfaction we call when you have satisfaction you will do more that is why in ignition term it is called matches matches means you do your best you cannot be complacent with what you are doing you should always excel excel for the greater that is why the motto of the jesuit itself is amdg ad majora dei gloria for the greater glory of god not for the greatest glory not for the good glory you must be the greater more great go ahead you can do achieve better and better and the fifth point is focus on building your character character is important not your reputation many people look for reputation no oh everybody appreciates me this way that way no no please never leave your character character cannot be bought with uh, your hard work or anything character must be of uh, inherent in you you must not sacrifice your character because so, so we see i would say no a genuinely good character always inspires in the long run people are initially people may like he may be very stringent and very very hard etc people will say no no you keep on and people will get uh, recognized your character the next point is please care about people another one of the characteristics of jesuit education is 
compassion be a compassionate human being you know what is the difference between today you know what is happening in the world around in, in our own country also the lynching the killing the hatred the communal uh, discrimination caste discrimination ethnic ethnic city violence etc we see which are all not a good signs of humanity i think people who are caring must be human they must have a caring attitude a compassionate attitude if lacks compassion you cannot be human being because if you recognize the salt with the sweetness uh, sorry salt with the saltiness and sweet with the sweetness then human beings must be recognized recognized by humanness nothing else and that is why this aspect is very important compassion caring next uh, important point for you to remember is you know we must put ourselves into a total challenges we must take risks we must be faced with challenges every day if there is no challenge there is no growth takes place you know successful people seize positive opportunities and negative people and the, the, the failure people who are failure people who fail in things they that means they seize the opportunity negative opportunities for them that's why so therefore in order to be positive look for positive things and challenge yourself challenge people to come out with their best that is another important quality of a successful person an inspiring person we, we must next point is we must uh, i think we must lead by example you know we say all of us must be or all models in life by seeing us people must get inspired inspiration comes by see not by your saying your life must be for example a hard working person a punctual person as a, a happy person an ins- uh, always encouraging person they inspire people not the not the per- people who are lazy sluggish no happiness at all no no you cannot become like that uh another important po- point for inspiring people is this we must articulate our thinking clearly articulation of your ideas you know when uh, we have something in our mind we must be able to communicate that one positively to people that is another quality of an inspiring people you know sashi tharoor for example when he speaks people listen to wonderful shiva khera people listen to inspiring people touches the hearts of the people by their articulation next point is you know make people good about themselves not the negativities don't point out this what is lacking in them can you see positive in every person and make the person to think about that positivity you are good you are unique there is something which is found in you <coughs> which others do not have there is something that is in you which others do not have make that awareness and persons must be able to help to to find out what is that good in them another aspect we can look at my dear brothers and sisters i feel is that we must help people to heal their own wounds you know forgiveness reconciliation is a very very important thing for an inspiring person if we inspire people then you will forgive the people the forgiveness is a a divine quality you know saint augustine will say to err is human to forgive is divine that divinity must come into play in our lives another important point is you know we must express the success of ourselves our stories to people so you don't uh, uh no no hesitate in saying what is the, what inspired you when people relate with you you must share your good things with people with and if you have good you know you cannot i say you cannot buy rice from a petrol pump because rice is not available there what you have only you can give so therefore you have good examples your good experiences your inspiring thoughts must be shared with people that's another area we must keep in mind and uh, perhaps this also is good for you that uh, you don't get agitated don't be reactive i call be proactive people not be reactive people always keep your cool in even in difficult situations and finally 
uh, maybe uh, one or two points more i think we must keep focus on positive things not negative be a positive person as i told you know successful people always sees positive opportunities positive opportunities so therefore we must be positive people optimistic people thinking about a hope filled way there is there is a better way there is a better way this too will pass away the calamities the happenings the negativities this will pass away positive things will happen that has to be your inspiration inspirational uh, attitude sharing with people in your interactions and finally keep your promises keep your promise if you have promised one day keep your promises and tell always the truth if it may not give you immediate success it may take time for you but then keep that in mind keep always your promises and speak always the truth and also along with that one one more quality which we need to is listen carefully listen carefully listening means the whole involvement is there you will feel and there is an affective level there will be change in you if you listen to people hearing means any sound we can hear and it comes and goes listening means i understand that makes a change in me that affectively touches me. and one more point the last point may be or one 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 very important point for you to remember i think it will be an inspiring person you must be communicator you must be a communicator communicate well with people and my dear brothers and sisters remember you must be faithful to your people faithful to your people you must be always truthful and face faithful to people if all these qualities if you take up in your life you will be an inspiring people and all of us are called to be people who inspire others people who inspire other people and all of us suppose we take up these points i'm sure the world will be a better place to live in and people will respect each other and love each other that's the world we are hoping for that's what we are working for all our teachers all our students must pay attention to this and become people of inspiration who inspire other people thank you very much god bless you